When I was a kid, one of my heroes was a guy named Bob Briggle, because he had a car that could do something nobody else's car could do. This has been on my bucket list since I was a kid. Ever since it stood up in 1965, the Hearst Hemi Under Glass has been the king of the wheel standards at drag strips all across the country. Putting the engine where the back seat was allowed the front wheels to come up, and you could see the engine under the glass fastback, hence the name Hemi Under Glass. And its driver, the iconic Bob Riggle. He was the master of wheel standing back then, and now, nearly 50 years later, he's the only 80-year-old guy who can regularly get it up. You know, on, on two wheels. Give me a, give me that uh, mag wrench and fill the fuel up. And after all these years, Bob is still my hero. So, Bob, you've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> a long, long time, yes. Is the car your idea? or Actually, the whole idea came from Ray Brock and uh, George Hurst. What they were doing, it was like uh, 1964, and they were sitting in, in a restaurant Christmas, and uh, George expressed to him that, you know, I'd like to put up a, an FX car for next year. So Ray Brock drew on a napkin, and he drew this Barracuda in, with a Hemi in the back. When the car got finished, we went out to uh, test it, front end coming in the air. Wow, boy, they thought that was exciting. So George is saying to himself, I got something here. Right, right. You know, off the starting line here came up and the crowd just went wild. See, I thought it was always built to be a wheel stand. No, I didn't it know wasn't. it was built to be a race car. Yeah. I just assumed because it was so outrageous and it drew the crowds. They loved it. Now, Bob, tell me about these high school kids you got working here on this. Uh... <laughs> well, right now they're checking the car out. They're checking the jetting, the timing, right. and the fuel. The car has to be running perfect in order to put on a good show. Right. And when it don't, I, I'm, I'm upset, you know. Well, it's really impressive. And it's, 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 it's really great to have you here to do this. Well, I appreciate you that. Oh, it's really fun because you're one of my heroes. All the other kids went to Shea Stadium to see the Beatles. I, I said, I'm going up to Portsmouth. I'm going to go watch you. Do you remember what uh, you told me about being in school and you had a hot rod magazine? Oh, right. The teacher. Yeah. yeah. The teacher. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I have my hot rod magazine with, with, the, with his car in it. And Mrs. Parker comes by with his, <laughs> just shreds the whole magazine. <laughs> he blamed me for it. Yeah, it was his fault. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can, I, can I go for a ride with you? Absolutely. Let's do it. This is bucket list for me. Now, I love cars of all shapes and sizes, but believe me, this is one of my all-time favorites. This made such an impression on me. Listen to that engine. 468 cubic inch Hemi with 2,500 horsepower. That's right, 2,500 horsepower on two wheels. What could go wrong? What's your name? Bob Riggle. How old are you, Bob? 80. What track are we at, Bob? You're at this uh, Irwindale. Anything hurting you right now? No. My name is Bob Riggle, and I'm 80, <laughs> and I'm at Irwindale. Oh, well, it's certainly exciting. <laughs> okay. You all right, Dave? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. It was just, I was just doesn't get more exciting than that. How you doing? You all right? Well, I'm fine. All I'm right, fine. cool, yeah, cool. You know, you're okay. That's no, I'm thing. fine. I'm fine. No, I'm, I'm know, okay. I, I do stuff like this every week, you know. <laughs> That's why I have so many cars. I, I have roll half of them half the time. Well, let's see. Well, yeah. the engine's okay. That wasn't damaged. No, uh... Quarter pound. How's the other side? Uh, bad. Pretty well trained. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be another body. Isn't that something? Wow. And this is only the uh, second action I've had in the 50 years of running this car. It'll it's... look exciting. Luckily, nobody got hurt. That shows you how good safety equipment is. Even that beautiful engine, thankfully, was saved. 
Stuff to do when you're 80, we're going to call this. Wait till my wife sees this. Huh? No. Your wife? Yes. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Jay Leno's Garage. Premiere episodes Wednesdays at 10. CNBC.